What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Let's talk some boxing. So, first, I want to start off by what is actually fact, and then I want to give some opinion, and I want to open the floor to you guys, and you let me know what your thoughts, what your opinion on this situation. So, fact, Golden Boy and Leo Santa Cruz are no longer in a partnership. As you guys know, the deal happened where there was a split. I did a video on this. I'll put the link in the description. And there was a split. Some fighters like Amir Khan stayed with Golden Boy. Canelo, of course, stayed with Golden Boy. And then some went over to just Al Heyman fighters and they're no longer being represented. It was a deal. It was a legal process that they went through. And um, that was the verdict. That was the settlement that they reached. Leo Santa Cruz, up until, I guess, today or yesterday, was still a part of the Golden Boy family. However, he is no longer a part of the Golden Boy family as it sits. And he's solely just being advised by Al Heyman. So he decided to go with the Al Heyman. Now, the problem with this is I made a video on this too. Oscar De La Hoya of Golden Boy stated he was on board. He wanted to make a fight with Leo Santa Cruz and Rigondeaux. Now, he's saying that Rigondeaux and Leo Santa Cruz fight. Basically, Al Heyman didn't want to make the fight. He's put, he's pinning the blame on Al Heyman and saying he didn't want to make the fight, so he ended up just selling off the remainder of Leo Santa Cruz's Golden Boy contract. Like, here, have him. Now you have him. You know what I'm saying? Got rid of Leo Santa Cruz out of frustration. Now, let's talk about my thoughts. This is some bullshit. This is, a, I mean, Leo Santa Cruz versus... Rigondeaux is a good fight. I just did an interview with Mike Perez. I put that on the channel and I asked him about it. I said a lot of people talking to Leo Santa Cruz and Rigondeaux and obviously he's Cuban. So, but he, he was, he gave it a fair shake, but he stated, he said, oh, it was a good fight, but um, I think that Rigondeaux is too much for Santa Cruz. That's what he said. He said he thinks he's too much. And a lot of people think that a lot of people think Santa Cruz will get schooled. I just want to see the fucking fight. Now, it looks like we're further from making this fight a reality with this whole thing. Because the person that allegedly wanted to make the fight, Oscar De La Hoya, just sold off his contract to Al Heyman. So I don't know what Al Heyman has. He doesn't talk to the media. I don't know what plans he has for Leo Santa Cruz. But, you know what I'm saying? He might want to pit Leo Santa Cruz up against somebody else on Premier Boxing Champs on NBC or whatever. Now... I'm all for fighters getting money and getting paid what they deserve because it's a brutal business. You know what I mean? I know fighters who have taken two losses and they're considered bums. You know what I mean? So it's it's a tough, tough business. Getting punched, you risk your life each and every time you lace them up. But they're, these guys are trained. They're professionals. Leo Santa Cruz and Rigondeaux fight needs to happen. Whether it's under Al Heyman's watch or Oscar De La Hoya, I'm a boxing fan. I don't give a shit about that. I don't care who gets credit for making the fight. The fight needs to happen. I don't know now that it will happen because, again, Al Heyman doesn't speak to the media. De La Hoya has been on record saying he wanted to make the fight. Now I don't know. But here's a quick disclaimer. In the world of boxing, I told you guys be prepared for another Cold War. Everyone thought that, oh, top rank and golden boy, they buried the hatchet. It's over. And I told you that. I did this like over a year ago. I told you this was not the case. It just opened the floodgates for a new Cold War. And it looks like that's what we're getting. Bob Arum, Oscar De La Hoya, they're cool. They can make fights together. But now you have a split where Al Heyman's doing his own thing, bringing his fighters to NBC and Spike TV. And you know what I'm saying? There was a split. Golden Boy and Top Rank are now across the street. And then you got guys like Mayweather, Richard Schaefer, and Al Heyman and his fighters and his million stable fighters on the other side of the street. So it's interesting to see what will happen. Again, I don't really even care about all the politics. I, I report it, but I just want to see the fight. And I hope this fight can get made for Al Heyman. Um, just make the fight, you know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think this fight can get made under Al Heyman, or do you think the chances are gone with Oscar De La Hoya? I will say this as a disclaimer also, that Oscar De La Hoya is probably pissed because if you look at it from a business perspective your former business partner someone you you did business with al Heyman, who represents a good percentage of the the demographic of popular fighters you know what i mean people from 
Keith Thurman to Amir Khan, Leo Santa Cruz. There's tons of guys he represents. He's kind of doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? And 2014 was a pretty shitty year of boxing. And it looks like that might have been part of his plan to give shitty matches. So Golden Boy took the heat for it by giving, a, you know what I mean, Danny Garcia versus Rod Salka bullshit we didn't want to see. Lamont Peterson versus a drug dealer, Santana shit we didn't want to see. And that all happened under Golden Boy's watch. Now, all of a sudden, Al Heyman comes out the closet. I said come out the closet, that sounds weird. But anyway, he comes he comes out and he's putting together some solid 60-40, 50-50 matches. Danny Garcia, Lamont Peterson, Keith Thurman, Robert Guerrero. So it looked like he was saving the good shit for himself. You know what I mean? Uh, Sean Porter's coming back. You got um, the Spike TV deal with Hostacito and Andre Berto. He has some good matches. So it looks like he was he was hoarding it. And he was saving those matches for his own shit, his own deal. So I don't know what his plan is for Leo Santa Cruz. So I'm not jumping the gun because, again, Al Heyman doesn't report to the media. He doesn't do interviews. And Oscar De La Hoya has reason to slander, if you will, or badmouth in public Al Heyman, saying, oh, Al Heyman doesn't want this fight done because that's now a rival, in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned. Al Heyman and De La Hoya are now in competition with each other. So I don't expect De La Hoya to say great things about him when Al Heyman's pretty much leaving him fucked because Al Heyman advises all of these dudes and... Really, De La Hoya's land, he's left with really a small stable compared to what he was in um, in 2014. He has Canelo. That's, that's like really his claim to fame. You know what I mean? Versus all the people that Al Heyman represents. So, again, another Cold War, in my opinion. And, and that's what it's looking like. So, let me know what you guys think and what you make of this. Will we get Rigondeaux versus Santa Cruz? Did Santa Cruz duck the fight? Did he run from the fight and just side with Al Heyman because he knows Al Heyman won't get it done? I want to know your thoughts. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.